Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and I love Bigfoot. You know, I actually love conspiracies, cryptids, creepy stuff in the world. And especially when it's like low risk, like there's no like real, it's, it's just a fun, interesting thing to look at, okay? Bigfoot, whether it's real or not, has been a topic up for debate. And there's been people that are incredibly serious about finding Bigfoot, okay? Sasquatch in the middle of the wilds in the United States, okay? Now I'm going to read you a piece from the National Guard, okay? Yes, the National Guard, a, a federal and state agency. Legend of Bigfoot. Believe in preparedness. Yeah, you can never prepare enough for your encounter with Bigfoot, okay? The legends of Bigfoot go back beyond recorded history and cover the world. In North America, and particularly the Northwest, you can hear tales of seven-foot-tall hairy men stalking the woods, occasionally scaring campers, lumberjacks, hikers, and the like. Bigfoot is known by many titles and many different cultures across the name. Bigfoot is generally attributed to the mountainous western region of, the, of North America. The common name Sasquatch comes from Salish Sasquit. So again, if you want to know more, the National Guard is your information gateway repository to learning about this hairy bastard. Now, why am I talking about Bigfoot, ladies and gentlemen? Beyond just that, you've got the U.S. Forest Service on April 1st, by the way, so this is a joke, okay? Shouldn't be, in my opinion. Uh, by the uh, U.S. Forest Service, where they're talking about how a loss of space threatens the North American Sasquatch. So, again, the Sasquatch chills out in the forest where there's a lot of land and a lot of place to hide. It's often considered that missing people go out and get lost in the forest because there's just so much of it, okay? It is what it is. It's a lot of land and it's a lot of place to get lost in. Now, one of the original pieces of Bigfoot footage that you could find was the Patterson-Gimlin Bigfoot film, which this is actually a rare, uncut version of it, which... I actually agree with, just because uh, the Bigfoot footage is, in my opinion, at least on YouTube, a bit hard to find. So this is what it looks like initially. You can see that the camera is shaking. It's very tough to get a focus of it. This was recorded way back in the day, okay? This is before the days of iPhone 15 Pro Maxes, okay, with DSLR grade um, lenses. But of course, you can see Sasquatch over there chilling, turns around, looks at the camera, says, oh no, it's wildlife TMZ, and fucks right off. So yeah, this is about the only closest footage of Bigfoot that we can find. And uh, this footage rolls around on YouTube all the time. The reason I said it's rare is that so many people are making versions of this footage with 60 frames per second, 4K, interpolating it to the point where they're actually adding data to it. This isn't good. When you actually modify footage this way, it can become inconclusive evidence because you, what you are doing is actually adding data, uh, you know, whether it be through machine learning, artificial intelligence systems, data interpolation. This is not the original video, okay? This is a 60 frame version of the original video and the amount of detail you're seeing with this face this wasn't ever in the original. This is actually far clearer than that original uncut footage that I showed you. So you might be like, whoa, Muda, why are you talking about Bigfoot this hard? Well, again, ladies and gentlemen, Bigfoot is here, okay? Bigfoot is alive and well. And you want to know why? Because it showed up on Facebook. Now, Facebook is considered to be a den of misinformation. Then again, what isn't these day and ages, okay? We're going to look at this footage and see, is this recently captured footage of Bigfoot from three days ago in Colorado actually real? Let's get down to business. So first off, we got to start prefacing it. It's story time, y'all. On Sunday, October 8th, Blank and I took the narrow gauge train ride from Durango to Silverton. So where is Durango to Silverton? Durango to Silverton includes a 48 mile drive through the San Juan National Forest region, okay? Just a satellite view of this image, all right? Just to give you guys an idea of what this looks like. Yeah, this whole region of the United States, yeah, if you get lost in this area, Trying to find you is like trying to find a needle in a haystack, okay? There's probably Wendigos, crazy shit that lives out here that we still don't know about, okay? But yeah, this is the entire ride through, and in this region was where Bigfoot was spotted. I asked Blank to help me look for elk in the mountains. As we are passing by the mountains, Blank sees something moving and then says, I think it's Bigfoot. 
The guy sitting next to blank on the train grabs his phone and starts recording. Meanwhile, I'm trying to get a photo of my camera. Blows the video that this account got and photos that they took. Y'all, out of the hundreds of people on the train, three or four of us actually saw the ever elusive creature Bigfoot, okay? So we believe, all right? Hashtag Bigfoot sighting, hashtag Bigfoot is real, hashtag Bigfoot. Y'all know what they say about people with big feet, okay? They rarely show up on camera because they're that big. Let's get started. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the video right here. And if you're looking at it carefully, you can start to see what uh, what is Bigfoot, okay? Now, he's got a shiny coat on him, which always makes me wonder if what I'm seeing is CGI. But Bigfoot's just sort of chilling. There's no trees around him, nothing. He's just chilling, taking in the sights, okay? Now that's about the only video that people have. Now whether it's CGI or not also brings up another question. Ladies and gentlemen, with how elusive Bigfoot is, this is the first time I've seen him in open plains. How is it that this is the first time nobody's ever captured this thing with a thermal imaging system? There is no drone that flies above that ever captured this? Ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about technology these days, not just the best cameras, the best thermal imaging cameras are out there. How is it that we have spotted this with an iPhone and the US government hasn't spotted Bigfoot, which could be a threat to the people around you with thermal imaging systems? This is one of the questions that I have to ask just because like you would think that if he's this uh, out in the wild, out in the open, it seems that he would have been spotted a long time ago. Now, of course, there's more, uh, you know, uh, classic Facebook images with the arrow pointing in the direction. So that pixel over there appears to be Bigfoot from a distance. Looking further, that's Bigfoot staring off in the distance. Again, he kind of camouflages within the bushes here too, but there ain't no way thermal imaging systems are ignoring this, okay? Again, anything that's uh, warm-blooded, it seems, like Sasquatch is going to give off a thermal flare. And those thermal imaging systems that shoot from the air, they can spot human beings, nearly anything, okay? And again, here's a beautiful sighting. So you can see that Bigfoot definitely can appreciate a good old classic Windows Vista wallpaper, okay? He looks out into the wilds, living his life the best way imaginable. Now, Bigfoot to exist requires that there's other big feet, okay? I don't know if that's the plural, because uh, Bigfoot was last spotted in the Bigfoot Patterson tapes like 40, 50 something years ago, okay? So for that to exist, there needs to be breeds of Bigfoots, okay? They gotta be able to reproduce and shit or else they have like a, like a Krogan ass lifespan where they live for like thousands of years. I don't necessarily think that's possible, but yeah, this is the footage of Bigfoot we've seen recently pop up in the media. And I wanted to really look into it, really dive more in, and I wanted to get more scientific analysis of this new piece of evidence. So ladies and gentlemen, I started to, the reason I'm making this video is because obviously it wasn't just me talking about it. The goddamn news ran it. You got NDTV, the Independent, National Post, Denver Post, Fox News, fucking Yahoo Sports jumped into the mix here too. Was Bigfoot spotted? Now, obviously, like everything, trying to get to the bottom of the story is really what my channel is about. I really like to see the tail end. Now, this actually led a few Redditors, for instance, to start looking deeper into the situation. One of them was an account that basically said this is located in Silverton in Durango. It's part of a quite popular Bigfoot-themed expedition trailer company called Sasquatch Expedition Trailers. Now, Sasquatch Expedition Trailers is a company that, again, is outside in that area. And, uh, you know, they're, they're, they, they post around like, have you seen Sasquatch? We know a few that have been born and raised here at our own world headquarters in Silverton, Colorado. Now, of course, if they were born and raised there, it leads my breeding theory to be correct. No, in reality, it seems like the actual owner of the company, I'm not even kidding with you, walks around dressed like Sasquatch. Yes, Sasquatch spotted at Overland Expo Mountain Park. Please come by and stop at our booth. Yeah, news sites, uh, it wasn't actually Bigfoot. Turns out it was a man pretending to be Bigfoot. Bigfoot facing, if you will, too. Now, I really hope to God that the owner of this company, whoever they hired to do this shit, 
wears a bulletproof vest or it's really like complete private property. Because let me tell you something right now, nothing is stopping somebody from locking and loading and shooting a Bigfoot in the head if they come across in sight, all right? I don't even know if you can get a tag, a license for Bigfoot, but uh, yeah, it's definitely not something I would be dressed up as. You know when you go hunting, you wear like orange, you wear like colors that other hunters can identify you as? Yeah, if you're dressed up like Bigfoot and you get shot, I actually wonder what the legal precedent for that would necessarily be. But yeah, this marks the tail end of the Bigfoot conspiracy that popped up recently, ladies and gentlemen. And there's been other people who are looking for Bigfoot too. Obviously, it's something that's been sort of examined for a long time. One of the images that I have over here is from a 2007 photograph that was alleged by the Bigfoot Field Researchers Organizations to be a juvenile Bigfoot. This could just be like a bear with a skin condition, but who's to know, ladies and gentlemen? Who has any idea? Bigfoot is ever elusive, and for a short period the last couple days, the Bigfoot enthusiasts thought, oh goddamn, we finally got it. We got it, we got proof. No, no, you're not gonna get it until the Mexicans are displaying the body inside their Congress, maybe a month from now. Ladies and gentlemen, this is me, Mudahar, and uh, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike if you dislike it, I am out.